Hi. Uh, coming at you with a somewhat cheerier note than uh, this time a month ago. If, if you didn't see with the rest of the internet, <laughs> I made a couple videos last month about uh, Nintendo. It's actually way too hot to be wearing this jacket. We're in summer. The only reason I put it on was for continuity's sake. Ah, that's refreshing. If you didn't watch the videos I made a month ago, just a really quick recap. I was working with Nintendo as part of their ambassador program. They randomly dropped me without really giving me a reason past they don't feel I'm a good fit for their program anymore. But they wouldn't really they wouldn't really tell me why they kind of just pointed to a few possible things like maybe i lack passion for nintendo or maybe i don't have the right amount of social following things that just really didn't make sense to any of us the internet uh resonated with it uh, a lot of uh speculation was caused a lot of uh videos were made uh, essentially it was like a whole thing for about three days and then it mostly blew over However, my followers and my subscribers keep consistently asking me questions about it. Essentially, what is the situation now? Are you back working with Nintendo again? Did they ever reach out to you? Did they say anything about all of that? Did you ever get any more answers? And I wasn't going to ever make a video on this again, but it does feel kind of weird to never make a video on it ever again, uh, especially when... I feel like we have had a development, that development mostly being no development, but it tells me a lot about my situation with Nintendo. Uh, I sent them an email uh, on the 9th of June, which uh, as of today, it, well, tomorrow, it will be exactly one month. That email I sent to the main contact that I have at Nintendo, who I read partially their emails in my last couple of videos so I can I totally understand why I didn't get a reply um but it's a contact that I've had for years a contact that always replies usually within at least a few days uh have has ghosted me and uh and isn't isn't replying to me anymore um now I do have a, a couple other contacts at Nintendo but this this was my main one um, so I'm not about to go and try and hit up everyone else and just look desperate. But the email I sent to them, and at this point I don't think it matters anymore, plus this is what I said, you know, uh, was just, hey, whoops, can't say that, <laughs> was just, uh, hi, uh, I just have one last follow-up question. And honestly, I felt kind of desperate writing this email. It, it felt kind of icky, um, but... You guys know there was so much speculation about why I was dropped and the one thing people kept pointing their little fingers towards was my Breath of the Wild video. And even though I really, really don't feel like that one video undoes six years of hard, passionate, committed work working with Nintendo, um, it, the, it irked me and it bothered me that I that I really didn't know. It was still, you know, there's a part of me that was like, oh, but what if it was? What if it was that one freaking video? And I just, it felt, ugh, just not knowing. I would have been satisfied just with, no, it wasn't that video. I just, because then I would have been like, okay, that it was just my overall brand. So I said, after announcing I was no longer in the program, people are speculating it was my Zelda mods that essentially led to you guys no longer working with me. I linked them the video, and I think you... <sighs> I get they, they probably didn't like that I made videos and I read the emails and they were tweeted and harassed and all of that. But you can clearly, I feel like you can clearly see in this email how desperate and sad I was. Uh, I said, I still feel like I did something wrong to no longer fit this program and I'd be lying if I, if I said it isn't distressing me. Could you please ease my mind either way? Was it that video that ended up causing the ending of my membership? If not, could I please get a clearer answer as to why I was specifically dropped from the program? And then this is something I, this is something I didn't even talk about in my videos. But uh, only recently I was sending in a video to farewell Reggie from the company, and I didn't, I never talked about this because it was something that happened internally with me and Nintendo. But Nintendo and Golan and their ambassador program, they reached out when when Reggie left the company. They reached out about a week before he retired and got a few of the larger creators that are in this uh, program 
to send in videos to Reggie to, to thank him. They wanted a 30 second video. I don't know. I could probably find it. I'll try. Um, they, they wanted a 30 second video, just thanking him and, and farewelling him and just with some kind words. And it meant so much to me. Um, and I feel like it also meant something to Reggie because when he retired, he made a Twitter and I was like the second actual person he followed on Twitter. And that meant a lot to me. Like he followed some news sources and he followed one other like human per like one individual, you know what I'm trying to say? And then I was the second individual person he followed. And I, I felt like that's because of the video I sent in. Obviously I was fresh in his mind and he was like, oh, who was that long haired yokel who <laughs> sent me the farewell? I'll give him a follow. It meant a lot to me. I even made a video thanking Reggie on Twitter. Um... But as I said, I felt like part of the Nintendo family, and it honestly hurt me more than it probably should, uh, hearing that you no longer wanted to collaborate with me. And it, it, it did hurt me a lot, and, you know, for a lot of reasons, um, you know, working with them so long. I talked about all of that, but also things I didn't mention, like making that video for Reggie and being asked to make that video. Like, how do you go from asking someone to send them a personal video to someone retiring within the company. Like, I know, I know I technically didn't really know anything about Nintendo. It's not like I was working with Reggie or anything. But how do you go from just a matter of months asking someone to send a personal farewell video to someone that they clearly care about and that they're, they're kind of trying to make you feel like you, you're working with him and you're part of the team to just, oh, see ya. We don't, we don't feel like you're a good fit anymore, but not give you a reason. And it was really bugging me, and I just wanted to know. So I sent this email, as I said, a month ago, and uh, it fell on deaf ears. Uh, I, yeah, I've been, I've been the equivalent of going on a date, going on multiple dates over six years with someone you really cared about. And then uh, sending them a, a little email to say, hey, is something wrong here? Is something something going on and then just being left on red um it feels it feels bad man it feels bad and i think it will always irk me that i never really got a reason but my point in this video is i i think it's very safe to say that uh, i am not gonna not only uh not work with nintendo again but not hear from them again um obviously they said to me initially that I could still essentially work with them without working with them. They were still going to send me codes for things and, and collaborate on stuff. Um, but now I really feel like that's just done. And it's my own fault. I could have just shut my mouth, honestly. I could have just kept, kept tight-lipped and not said anything, not brought the emails out. Um, and that's on me, and I don't regret it. But, um, I definitely considered that. Like, it's not like I did that and then was like, oh, oops, oopsie, <laughs> they're not replying, why? Uh, no, before I even put up that first video, I, I was prepared to probably not hear from them again. Uh, you know, I, I weighed those pros and cons and I decided I would rather talk about it. As I said in those videos, they asked me to remove all mention of them. Um, and it felt weird for me to just remove all mention of them but never actually mentioned to you guys what was happening. I didn't expect it to blow up. That's not on me. That's on you. That's on all of you. <laughs> you know, I didn't I didn't expect it to blow up and and get me a million, two million views and everyone tweet at Nintendo and swear at Nintendo and essentially get me blacklisted, which is what I feel like has happened. But again, the overwhelming support I get from you is, and all of you, more than makes up for it. You know, I... I can do this without Nintendo's help. I cannot do it without your help. Um, and that's just a fact, you know, and sharing my experience with you guys, being open with you guys. I may have gotten further away from Nintendo, but I feel like I've gotten closer to all of you. That's the real <laughs> soppy message I'm trying to elaborate on here. And yeah, just thank you. I appreciate all of you. I don't think I can milk this anymore. I'm really, I'm not really, I wasn't trying to milk it. You know, I made a video about it and then a follow-up video because there were so many more questions and I feel like that was, you know, that was appropriate. And then this is just like a month later recap of just so you guys know, yeah, it's, it's over. And uh, there's no reason, there's literally no reason to talk about it now. The only reason there would be to make another one of these at this point is if Nintendo messaged me with the freaking reason as to why.
So then I could do the reason why Nintendo dropped me. I'd love that, Nintendo. If you could give me that as like one little parting gift. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for uh, watching this video. And uh, more videos coming tomorrow, next day, whatever. I don't care. I love you all. Thank you all so much. Bye.